Reggie Lecky is going to be in Elite Raids. Probably during the worst day to play Pokemon Go. I'm Alex Scum, aka Chicle, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Yes, let's go! Ah, Chinese, you see that? Today we're going to go through a raid guide for Reggie Alecki in Elite Raids. Also before we do that though, they have made an announcement that they're going to increase the storage for both Pokemon storage and the item bag. It's 6300 for Pokemon storage and it is 5300 for the item bag. We may increase some storage, who the heck knows, but I do know that you guys should subscribe to this channel for more great content. And then let me know in the comments below, will you be able to go out for the Reggie Alecki raids? Or will you not? I just think it's very inconvenient that it's on a holiday when they could have done it the day before. But that's just me speaking. Now, Reggie Alecki is and should be in rates in three different time periods throughout the day on Sunday, which are 11 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m. Usually when you defeat at least one Reggie Alecki Elite raid, you should be getting a time research to complete in order to receive Reggie Rock, Reg Ice, and Reggie Steel candy. Now, of course, it's an elite raid, which means we cannot remote raid. I know it's controversial right now with the whole remote raid thing. I think I've already shared enough about my feelings about the remote raid, so we're just gonna move on and just focus on this Pokemon, regardless of people's availability or not, because I may or may not do this because I definitely have plans for Easter. But let's talk about Reggie Alecki. Obviously, it's a pure electric type. I can't tell you what the hundo is right now. And obviously, I don't want to break down like the stats because it's probably not going to be the best electric type, especially since you have like Zergatry and Zekrom and the electric type Megas. Honestly, we could just skip that and just say in general, if it's raining, it'll be weather boosted. But you want to make sure that it's sunny outside because it will boost ground types, which is its only weakness. We have Primal Ground on as the number one non-shadow ground type. For non-mega, non-primal, we have number one, which is ground on with Persistent Blades. Then we have Garchomp at number three. Mega Swampert for those who do not have Primal Reversion Energy for the ground on. This will be a great alternative. And also, it will have Mudshot and Earthquake. Then we have Excadrill. Excadrill is definitely a good non-legendary, non-mega ground type to go after. If you have like Drill Run and Mud Slap, that'd be great. You also have Rhyperior. Mamba Swine is a great ice and ground type, so having it learning high horsepower will be great. Both forms of Landorus will be really good. If you guys have been playing the Halloween events, you should have enough candy for the Golets to get a really good Golurk. Also, Rhyperior's Pre-Evolution Rhydon is a good pick as well if you don't have a Sinnoh Stone. Finally, Crocodile is pretty much going to be the next best one. So it does learn normal type and electric type moves, so this should be a little bit easier than Regidrago. The moves that it will learn are gonna be Lock On and Thundershock as his fast moves, and the charge moves will be Thunder, Sap Cannon, and Hyper Beam. I need to let you guys know my personal schedule on Easter because during the morning and afternoon, worst time, obviously, it's Easter. So 2 p.m., I am 100% not going to be playing during 2 p.m. So unfortunately, that's when I have like Easter dinner with the family. 11 a.m. to be determined because I do have church at nine. Usually gets done around like 10, 15, 10, 30. I, there's like that half hour window. So I'll be with my girlfriend. I will just have to try to convince her, hey, can we just stop somewhere at 11 before we go to my place at one? Because although it's gonna be a half hour to do raids at 11, I do have to help out in the kitchen before dinner at one. So 11 a.m. on Sunday to be determined if you are in Douglas and then 5 p.m. That's probably when like plans are done and stuff like that. Everyone's stuffed and tired. I may be out at 5 p.m., but I don't know what your schedule is going to be like. But I will be saying the same thing on a post on Facebook, Messenger, Discord uh, for those who are willing to raid that are available during Easter because I know not a lot of us are. And if we are available, some people may go out because they can do in person or not. It was really great last time that we did do the Reggie Drago late rate, despite the weather. I know there were some issues for like 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. in New Zealand and all that stuff. So hopefully they learn from those mistakes and are able to let people raid at 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. 
instead of just 11 a.m. That's all the time that we have for today. We are going to go out for the Spring into Spring event right now. And uh, that's it for today's video. Peace out.